What's up everybody? David Yang here again of Home Sellers. I want to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Real Talk where I talk about real estate. So this week's episode, we are back at my investment property again. This is the one that I showed you a few weeks ago. We were doing that Burr investment deal on. Now we've had our HGTV moment, okay? If you don't know what that is, go watch HGTV, one of the house flipping shows with the dude and the lady and they're flipping the house, breaking it down, and they come across a big problem that they didn't notice before. Well, we've got our big problem, okay? So let's go take a look and see what it is. All right, so we are here in the basement, and if you notice, we have a brand new furnace here, okay? So when we were going through and fixing up the property, the heat just died all of a sudden one day, okay? And we found out that it was because the old furnace that was here, it was in a gravity furnace or an octopus furnace. It was in this big, large, empty area right here, okay? And gravity furnaces, if you've never come across one, are very, very large. Sometimes they're wrapped in as asbestos, uh, and they were made very, very long ago, okay? So nobody really works on them, services them anymore. Um, and so we had to get a new one because the parts were very hard to find. So what we had to do is we just had to rip out the old one and put in a new high efficiency furnace, okay? Now again, this wasn't something that we were planning for because when we initially walked through the property before buying it, we saw that the furnace was still working. So we didn't really plan for it, uh, but it's okay because we budgeted enough to be able to cover mishaps like these, all right? So the total for putting a new furnace in here, complete install and everything and removal of the old unit was around $20,000, okay? So you're probably asking, David, why is it $20,000 just to install a furnace? Well, you gotta think about it. You can't use any of the old ductwork, so all brand new ductwork, a brand new furnace, okay? Room, safe removal of the old unit, okay? So these are things that when you are going through and rehabbing a property, you want to make sure that you factor these things in, okay? Again, this was a problem that we didn't see in the beginning, but we were able to purchase it at a price good enough to where if we had these big problems like this, it would cover uh, for any issues that came up. So we are still in the green, but these are just things for you to look out for and things for you to expect when you're thinking about flipping a house or trying to rehab a property, especially with older mechanical, okay? All right, so this was just a quick video about one of the issues that we came across while rehabbing this property. But really what I want you to do is I want you to understand what the process is like and what to expect when you are thinking about flipping a house or rehabbing a property so that way you can make smart financial decisions, okay? If you have any questions about uh, flipping properties or rehabbing uh, properties, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. If not, I will see you guys next week on the next episode of Real Talk.